Good day everyone. This is Social Studies, Grade 9A and 9B. Your teacher here, Ms. Michelle Joy. This video will serve as a recap makeup class, especially for the students who weren't able to join us virtually. Let's proceed to our online learning discussion now. Last, before we proceed to our online learning discussion, I would like us to have a short recap or review of the last topics that we have discussed, which is about the barriers to world trade. So what are trade barriers? So trade barriers are things that hinder or get in the way of trading. And there are three types of trade barriers. Number one is cultural barriers, which in include language, currency, and belief system. Number two, we have physical barriers that includes mountain, deserts, and canyon. We also have economic barriers that include government rules that tax, limit, or block international trade between countries, which we have studied, tariff, quota, and embargo. When we say tariff, we put tax on imported goods so that people are more likely to buy products that are made domestically. Quota is the number of products that are allowed to be imported. Embargo means the total ban on importing and exporting goods. So this was the topic that we have discussed before the topics that we are going to learn today. Plus, for the objectives of the lesson, the first one is students must be able to know about World Trade Organization. Students must be able to know the aims of World Trade Organization. And the last one is students must be able to know about the issues of World Trade Organization. So, plus, at the end of our discussion, I expect that all of you already know what World Trade Organization is, what is the purpose of building World Trade Organization, and what are the problems that um, countries encounter when they do international trade. So plus, our topic for today is about World Trade Organization, and these are the vocabulary words that we will be encountering in our next slides. Please repeat after me after I read so that you can still practice your reading skills and your speaking skills, even if you're just at home. Are you ready now? Let's start reading. Number one, issue. Number two, World Trade Organization. Number three, aim. Number four, safety. And number five, effect. Now, class, let's study this word one by one. Issue means matter. Result, offspring, progeny, topic, upshot, problem, outcome, effect, and publish. So when you say issue plus means the problem or the outcome or the effect of doing international trade. Next word is World Trade Organization. So what is the World Trade Organization? It is an international organization that was built in Geneva, Switzerland, and it has 153 members. There are 625 people working in WTO, and its official languages are English, French, and Spanish. The Director General of WTO is Pascal Lamy, and they meet every two years. General Council means implements conferences policy decisions responsible for day-to-day -day administration. The next word is aim. Aim means the purpose, intention, object, objective, goal, target, plan, point, design, intent. So when you say aim class means the purpose or the reason why there is World Trade Organization. The next word is safety. Safety means security, protection, refuge, shelter, sanctuary, guard, safeness, asylum, invulnerability, and safeguard. So when you say safety class, it's the protection of people doing international trade. And the last one is effect. Effect means impact, influence, action, effectiveness, 
efficacy, result, conclusion, and outcome. So effect means what is the outcome or result of doing something. So these are the five words that can help us better understand our topic for today. Issue, World Trade Organization, Aim, Safety, and Effect. The World Trade Organization is the entity which regulates international trade since January the 1st, 1995. The main goal of the WTO is creating a level playing field by setting and enforcing rules so that the 164 countries which are currently members can trade with one another smoothly. Here's how things work. 1. In theory, rules can be created or altered through a majority vote, but in most cases, such decisions are reached unanimously. 2. Whenever disputes arise, the WTO tries to resolve them through negotiations. 3. If necessary, the organization can even impose sanctions on countries which break the rules. All of this might sound great, but like any other organization out there, the WTO also received criticism because 1. Some citizens believe letting the WTO create rules that their country has to follow is undemocratic. 2. In certain cases, the WTO risks hurting people to protect business interests. For example, poor countries that can't afford expensive patented medicine, such as HIV drugs, had to wait until patents expired before producing or buying cheaper generic versions. Eventually, the WTO enabled them to bypass patent regulations during national emergency situations. 3. In other cases, the WTO ends up being accused by businesses. For example, by pharmaceutical companies which complain that if countries declare a national emergency to bypass patent regulations for more and more drugs, they cannot recover the money they invested to innovate and create these drugs, and as such, research and innovation are discouraged. As can be seen, the job of the WTO is anything but easy, and therefore, controversy will always surround this organization. World Trade Organization, or WTO. There have been continuing effects worldwide to reduce tariffs and encourage more world trade, and international trade agreements could help. So class, even if there are advantages or benefits of doing World Trade Organization, there are also problems that they encounter. Of course, this one we cannot avoid from happening. So the most important international trade organization is the World Trade Organization, and the World Trade Organization had 147 member nations. Actually, class, it is the most important uh, trade organization or international organization because it makes sure that all of the countries that are doing the international trade are going to do it in accordance with the rules that they have given. Why? To make sure that doing international trade is fair with all countries even if it's a wealthy country or a poor country it should be done equally now class let us discuss about the aim of world trade organization the first one is to promote free trade the second one is to stimulate economic growth and the third one is to encourage world trade among nations so class promote free trade among nations that are doing import and export of goods. Also to stimulate economic growth, not only the wealthy countries, but especially the third world countries. And to encourage world trade among nations to have a close knit relationship. Next, let us discuss about the issues about world trade organization. So the first one is, it does not treat less developed countries fairly. The second one is health. The third one is safety. And the fourth one is environment. So class, they said that some countries said, especially the third world countries or the less developed countries, that World Trade Organization prioritize the wealthy countries and they treat less developed countries not fairly or not equally. When it comes to health, the developed countries sell their products like medicine to also wealth, wealthy developed countries, not to the less developed countries. Or if they're going to sell this kind of product to less developed countries, so they will be at the least priority. The third one is safety. So this is being prioritized 
when it comes to transporting goods and services, especially if the country is hard to reach. Like for, for example, Maldives, it is a country surrounded by, by water. So going there, the products will be transported by, by sea. So the arrival of the product in there is longer than the product that they will be imported through air. Next is environment. So plus just to summarize the topics that we have learned, which is about World Trade Organization. So the World Trade Organization or WTO is the only global international organization dealing with the rules of trade between nations. So the location is in Geneva, Switzerland, and it was established on the 1st January 1995. It was created by Uruguay Round Negotiations in 1986 to 1994. Membership is 150 countries on 11 January 200, 2007, but now plus it's 160 countries. Budget is 175 million Swiss francs for 2006, and the people working there 635. The head is Pascal Lamy, or the Director General is Pascal Lamy. The goal is to help producers of goods and services, exporters and importers, conduct their business. So plus, for your activity, it's live worksheet and it looks like this. So we have here import and export. So you are just going to drag the correct word to the sentence to complete the sentence. And after you already did numbers 1 to 10, you're going to click finish, click check my answer, screenshot your score, write your name, and upload in social studies album in your line group. Good luck, everyone. Class, we now come to the end of our online learning discussion. I hope that you have learned something about World Trade Organization, the aims of World Trade Organization, as well as the problems or issues that is being encountered when doing world trade or international trade. If you have any questions that you would like to ask Ms. Anjay, please feel free to call me or send me a message in my personal line account and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much and I'll see you again next week. Goodbye everyone. Stay safe.